girl hunty. I don't really know how to say this. It'd be a wig or a frontal, just a wig frontal or a frontal. And it'd be so thick, you look like you're about to start like wrestling. You're about to put one of those little diapers on, like, you know, sam Samaran wrestlers or with Samoan wrestlers. I don't know, whatever you call them, but their hairline be mad thick. Like, that's what it reminded me of. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. So I did get some hair from, okay, let's just start this pronunciation thing out. Because it's really simple. I think it's called Yiro hair, Yiru. Probably like Yiru. Okay, either way, they sent me some of their Malaysian body wave hair in the lengths of 16, 16, 14, and a 14 inch 13 by 6 lace frontal. And of course, I made a wig out of it. I did use a... Um, different type of cap. It's not a um, spandex dome cap. It's just a regular wig cap that you can buy. I think they're like eight bucks a piece on Amazon or cheaper, but it does come with the hooks in the back. So that has like a little bit of pull to it. I did put um, two combs in the back and a elastic band because I didn't want this sucker to sit real tight. In the process, in the duration of my process with this wig, I did bleach the frontal prior to me making it. And then I also pre-plucked the hairlines. So let me tell you, uh, the lace on this was really really good some lace that i get is like really like trash and then some lace that not really trash but you know there's some good and then there's some like really really good and then there's some like the best bomb lace so this is like probably up there with the best bomb lace for real because the hairline wasn't all thick and it easily like bleached and it's like thin so i liked the lace on this um not really sure if it's like the perfect color but we're gonna work around that and then i just curled it off camera like nothing spectacular i just didn't want to take up too much of you guys this time so let's get into this i went ahead and cut the lace off of this bad boy we're gonna see how good she really really do okay <laughs>
guys so this hair came out you know what it came out really really cute i mean like this hair came out cute I'm not going to say perfection, but damn cute, okay? Like, I think the hairline is so bomb on this. Like, their lace, this is some good lace. Like, damn near, you cannot see it. I like the fact that the knots are vanished. It wasn't even like a problem lace anyway. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was something like it was really easy, and I was really, really impressed with the lace when I first got it because it really didn't need a lot of work, but you know you want to make it yours. You want to make it personal. So let's make this personal, okay? I'm going to get up right here, and you guys can see how good the lace is. Like, this is some good ass lace like for real like it sat it laid nicely like you know you ever try lace and you'd be like fighting with it it's like it just don't want to lay down it just don't want to do nothing like it just want to give you problems that's all it want to do is give you problems this one was super easy the only issue that i had is i had this hair curl for like four or five days so the curls in the front were so tight i had them pin curled and oh my god i really did not mean for them to stay in that long and omg them things were tight i had to take my hot comb and like kind of try to like get them to calm down because they were tight they were like virgin like a virgin you know not like virgin hair but like a virgin you know what i'm saying but 16 inches is nice it's nice and full you know what i'm saying it's nice and full the waves are there i i know i did not put the the full three bundles in i think it was like two so I'm like two, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't really need a lot, you know what I mean? I didn't really need a lot. But the hair quality is, like, really good quality, okay? Hair texture was bomb. You know, I think it's really nice. I think the wig came out really cute. You know, this is, like, average length, and it's 16 inches, but the hair just combs and melts so nicely to where you could just melt it down and have it slicked behind your ears you don't even need all them baby hairs with this percent um this particular frontal because it's just like butter baby it's a really good frontal it's not over processed it's like you know i just brushed down a few of them little hairs and that's it and then in the process of doing so i didn't even really I didn't blow dry. I just let it dry on its own naturally with the Pump It Up, my favorite. And then, you know, the styling and spiking gel from Walmart, which is the Equate brand, the equivalent to Got To Be. I think, like, this one to me is, like, better than Got To Be. You're in Walmart, you see it. Give it a try. It's some really good stuff. It dries really good, and it will definitely hold your wig in place. You know, I'm not really sure for how many days. I really do like the lace frontal part the most. I wish that every company's had their lace frontal like this. Like, it melts. You not to worry about doing a whole bunch of makeup and doctoring it up after you bleach the notch it's just that i mean of course you want to pre-tweeze or pre-pluck the edges like i did but i didn't really do a lot so you know what i mean i just did a little i think i did a little bit i can't really remember but it doesn't need a it's not as thick in the front you ever get one of those frontals either it be a wig or a frontal just a wig frontal or a frontal and it'd be so thick you look like you're about to start like wrestling you're about to put one of those little diapers on like you know samurai wrestlers or with Samoan, I don't know, whatever you call them, but the hairline be mad thick. Like, that's what it reminded me of. Not this, but that's just what I'm thinking of. Like, when you think of, like, that bad hairline, it just be, like, all the way across, super duper thick. You look like Heady Monster. You about to just, you know, get into some type of battle or whatever. Battle with the hairlines. But, you know, it didn't give you that look. I think those are, like, the cheapest, cheapest wigs that you could find when the hairline look like that. That mean, like, girl, you in for some work. But you didn't have to do much with this. So I'm, I'm, I'm like, happy that this is like look this is this came out really nice and i kind of made it like some old glam hollywood hairstyle i don't even know how but it was like by accident but you know the curls will drop eventually but you know it's nice so i love you guys stay diva and divalicious i'll see you guys in a soon to come video Bye.